Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the expanded long multiplication method. This is the method that's usually used in years 5 and 6. It's called the expanded method because you'll be able to see in the brackets what's happening in each part of the sum. And it's called the long multiplication method because you are multiplying by a number which is more than one digit. So for example, if I wanted to find out the answer to 124 multiplied by 26. I then need to lay it out using my place value knowledge into 124 multiplied by 26. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my 124 bit by bit by my 6 in the 1's column here. So over in the right hand side I'm going to start to write out each part of the sum. So first of all I'm going to do 6 times 4. 6 multiplied by 4 gives me 24. So using my place value knowledge I put the 4 in the 1's column and the 2 in the 10's column. So I've now multiplied by this number here. I've then got to multiply my 6 by this digit over here. This digit though is in the tens column, so I'm multiplying by 20. If I'm multiplying by a 10, all I have to do is think about what is 6 times 2, which I know is 12, and then make it 10 times bigger. So I've got 1, 0, so I put that in the ones column, and then the rest of my answer was 12, so the answer is 120. I've then got to multiply my 6 by the 100. So this time I've got next to the 1 two zeros. So I've got to make sure that my answer is 100 times bigger. And then I just have to do 6 times 1, which is 6. Right, so I've now multiplied 124 by 6. But the sum is 124 times 26. So I'm just going to change colour and now I'm going to multiply everything by the 2. But actually it's a 20 because it's in the tens column. So I'm now doing 20 multiplied by the first digit again. So 20 times 4. Well, I know what 2 times 4 is. 2 times 4 is 8 and I need to make it 10 times bigger. So the answer is 80. I've then got to multiply my 20 by the next digit in the tens column. So I'm now doing 20 times 20. So I know what 2 times 2 is. 2 times 2 is 4, but I've got to make it 100 times bigger because I've got two zeros. So if I put those two in first, and then I know that 2 times 2 is 4. So I've now multiplied by my 10. And then finally I'm going to have to multiply my 20 by my 100 digit. So I've got 20 times 100. So again, I know what 2 times 1 is, 2, and this time I've got 3 digits, so I'm going to have to put in 3 zeros. 2 times 1 is 2, so that goes over in the thousands column. So the 3 zeros make my answer a thousand times bigger. So I've now multiplied my 20 by the 100. All I have to do now is add up my columns. So I've got 4 in the 1's column. 2, 4, 8 is 12. So I'm going to have to regroup the 1 over there. I've got 6 and 4 is 10, 11, 12 again. So I'm going to have to regroup into the 1000's column. And then finally I've got 2, 3 thousands. So the answer to the sum is 3224 using the expanded long multiplication method.